Learn all about Israel's Iron Dome defense system and how it effectively intercepts incoming missiles in this informative video. Discover the technology behind this crucial defense mechanism and how it helps protect the citizens of Israel. Stay tuned to understand the intricate workings of the Iron Dome and its significance in modern warfare. Iron Dome Israel Missile Defense To learn and understand this incredible defense system, we must first delve a bit into the history of the conflict that led to its development. Here's a very brief overview. Many people mistakenly think that Israel and Palestine have been enemies for centuries, but this is not the case. The current and real conflict between these groups started in 1948, when Israel declared itself a state. Clearly the history is much more complex, involving religion, politics, and territorial disputes, but this gives us a better understanding of why they have been in conflict since then. Conflicts between Palestinians and Israelis became evident, and since 1968, Israel has suffered from a prolonged rocket attack campaign. In 2001, the Palestinian group Hamas, in resentment of the ongoing war, began launching more massive rocket and mortar attacks on Israel, many aimed at civilian populations. At the beginning of the conflict, Hamas's inventory included 107mm rockets of Chinese and Iranian manufacture, 122mm grad rockets of short and long range, Iranian-made Fajr 5 rockets, Syrian-made 302mm rockets, and Hamas-made M75 and M80 rockets. These constant attacks created psychological trauma in the daily lives of the Israeli population. As any day and at any time, a citizen near the Gaza Strip could be the target of one of these weapons. However, while these attacks were occurring, the Israelis were already planning a solution. Israel had the idea to create a modern short-range missile defense system to stop these attacks. But the idea wasn't taken seriously until the early 2000s when the development of an anti-aircraft system capable of facing Palestinian rockets began. It wasn't until 2007 that then-Defense Minister Amir Peretz selected the Iron Dome project as the defense Israel would use to counter Palestinian attacks. The Iron Dome was developed by Rafael Advanced Systems and Israel Aerospace Industries. The system is designed to intercept and destroy short-range rockets and artillery shells fired from distances of 4 to 70 kilometers. However, it took many years of development and testing for the Iron Dome project to become a reality. Finally, on April 7, 2011, the Iron Dome system deployed in the Ashkelon area in Israel intercepted a Palestinian Grad rocket, marking the first successful interception of a short-range rocket fired from Gaza. The interception was visible in Israeli cities near northern Gaza. Immediately afterward, an Israeli Air Force plane successfully attacked the group that had fired the rocket. The functioning of the Iron Dome is easy to understand. First, you need to know that the Iron Dome has three basic components that make it work correctly. The Iron Dome consists of three basic components. The tracking and detection radar, the battle management and weapon control system, BMC, and the missile firing unit. 1. Tracking and detection radar. Developed by the system, it scans the area for a ballistic missile or rocket. When it detects a launch, it initiates a process of information analysis and reporting, tracking the location and determining the type of rocket, two essential characteristics. 2. Battle Management and Weapon Control System, BMC. Developed by an Israeli software company, this system processes and evaluates the threat level and the rocket's intended destination. The Iron Dome can distinguish between rockets that threaten populated areas and those that will fall harmlessly in open terrain, which is crucial for conserving interceptors during massive rocket attacks. In the case of short-range rockets, this decision is made in a fraction of a second, as depending on the launch distance from the Gaza Strip, Israelis have only between 15 and 90 seconds to take cover. 3. Missile Firing Unit After the BMC determines which rockets must be destroyed, the firing unit launches the interceptor missile, equipped with the electro-optical sensors and multiple steering fins for high maneuverability. A typical Iron Dome battery has between 3 and 4 launchers, with 20 missiles per launcher. The missile receives trajectory updates of the rocket thanks to the battle management and weapon control system as it approaches its target. Finally, the Israeli missile explodes near the Palestinian rocket, neutralizing the threat to the civilian population. The Iron Dome is not influenced by weather conditions, functioning effectively day or night and in all weather conditions. Including low clouds, rain, sandstorms and fog, the greater the distance, the better the system's interception capability. The three Iron Dome systems are mobile and can be relocated. Currently there are 10 in use in Israel. According to Rafael Defense Systems, a single battery can protect an area of 150 square kilometers, sufficient for a medium or large size city. Only 13 Iron Domes would be needed to protect the entire country. Regarding its effectiveness, the manufacturer declares a 90% success rate, although other more conservative experts believe it is 80%.
the head of the Israeli Missile Defense Organization, Moshe Patel, said the Iron Dome had intercepted more than 3,400 projectiles in the last 10 years. The weapons manufacturer Rafael puts the number of successful launches at over 3,500. Defense consultant Steven Zaloga stated that the Iron Dome's destruction of 90% of the missiles it targeted is an extremely high level, above what is expected of air defense systems in any other country in the world. Defense journalist Mark Thompson wrote that the lack of Israeli casualties suggests that the Iron Dome is the most effective and proven anti-missile shield the world has ever seen. The first major test of the Iron Dome was during Operation Protective Edge in August 2014. Ten batteries were deployed across Israel, and during the 50 days of the conflict, 45 and 94 rockets and mortars were fired at Israeli targets. The Iron Dome systems intercepted 7 and 35 projectiles deemed threatening, achieving a success rate of 90%. Only 70 rockets fired at Israel from Gaza were not intercepted. On May 9, 2021, during the Israel-Palestine crisis, Hamas fired just over 2,300 rockets at Israel from Gaza. Of the rockets aimed at civilian populations, the Iron Dome blocked between 90% and 95%, according to various reports from AP and the Israeli Armed Forces. Even with conservative estimates of 80%, it remains quite useful. The cost of using the system for protection is high, each battery can cost more than $50 million, and a single interceptor missile costs about $80,000. In contrast, a Palestinian rocket can cost just a few thousand dollars or even less than a thousand dollars. Many have criticized the Israeli government for the high costs of the Iron Dome. However, its defenders argue that the life and tranquility of the people in Israel are priceless. The United States has financially supported the system's development and has purchased several of these systems for its own defense. For over a decade, the Iron Dome has provided unprecedented superiority. However, the Israelis know that their enemies are also preparing to respond with their own technological efforts. So there is no time to lose. A key area of interest similar to the Iron Dome is the development of a laser weapon. On February 8, 2020, the Israeli Ministry of Defense announced a pioneering technological achievement in developing a solid-state laser, known as Iron Beam. This system is designed to destroy short-range rockets, artillery, and mortars with a range of up to 7 kilometers. The laser system could also intercept enemy unmanned aerial vehicles, drones, complementing the Iron Dome's capabilities. Iron Beam aims to complement the weaknesses of the Iron Dome. It uses a laser to destroy an aerial target in four or five seconds. A mobile Iron Beam battery consists of an air defense radar, a command and control unit, and two shell high-energy laser systems. The main advantages of using a directed energy weapon over conventional missile interceptors are the lower cost per shot, unlimited ammunition, lower operating costs, and less manpower. Although the system does not cost less than the missiles, its operation has a lower life cycle costs, making it a worthwhile investment. The system is based on over five years of research and development of solid-state lasers, funded by the Israeli Ministry of Defense and largely by the United States. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram where there's great content every day. Have an excellent day.